Cross Harbour is a picturesque city on the north coast of New South Wales. It is nestled in a narrow strip between the mountains and the sea. The natural beauty of the coastline is evident in its natural harbour. The long sandy beaches with crystal clear warm waters, tranquil secluded bays and rocky headlands. But behind the bustling tourist town is a hidden paradise, the rainforest hinterland. The Coffs Coast has a semi-tropical climate which is the perfect weather for rainforests along its coastline. Here the flora and fauna thrive in the moist warm conditions. Scrub turkey search the forest floor for food. The humidity condensates into pools of water which feed the roots of the plants. While some plants are happy to steal sunlight by any means, the larger trees reach to the sky, making a canopy over the rainforest. In the summer months, large clouds are formed by the warmer, wet air rising over the higher, cooler mountains. Some provide gentle rain, but often storms bring wild winds, hail and lightning. After the rains, the rainforest is revitalised into a fast-growing garden. But it's not only large plants. Experts like Steve Young search the wet undergrowth for fungi, microorganisms that quickly take advantage of the rotting trees and bugs. The fungi kingdom is everywhere. It is so vast that new species are discovered frequently. This one found at Dorigo glows in the dark and is about one millimetre in size. This larger orange fungi is growing on the side of a dead tree limb. The water runs off the mountain as spectacular waterfalls. This is Crystal Shower Falls in the Dorigo National Park. Tourists can appreciate its beauty from the high walkway or get close by walking behind the falls. Waterfalls are found all over this area, feeding the creeks and rivers as they descend back to the coastline. At Charlesworth Bay in Coffs Harbour, the clean, filtered waters from the nearby rainforest eventually return to the ocean from where they started. <laughs> 